Have you ever wondered what separates a bad guy from the rest of us? Well, psychologists have and they've gone beyond the generic term to delve into the distinct traits that define socially dangerous personalities. Terms like narcissist, sociopath and callous exploiter paint a more detailed picture of these individuals. Today, we'll delve into two often misunderstood dark personalities, the sadistic personality and the psychopathic personality. A research paper from the European Journal of Psychological Assessment offers an enlightening perspective. The research spearheaded by Delroy Paulus of the University of British Columbia, Canada, defines a sadistic personality as one that finds the suffering of others appealing. On the other hand, a psychopathic personality is indifferent to this suffering and may exploit cruelty for its instrumental value. The study further suggests that psychopaths are typically impulsive, angry, and fearless with little concern for retaliation. Sadists, in contrast, operate from a safe distance, minimizing threats of retaliation while maintaining their rewards. They often express their harmful tendencies vicariously, such as through violent sports, media, and live fistfights. The researchers have also developed scales to differentiate these two personality types. For instance, the sadism scale includes statements like, Watching a fistfight excites me, and I know how to hurt someone with words alone. The psychopathy scale includes statements like, People often say I'm out of control, and I sometimes get into dangerous situations. While some argue that sadism and psychopathy are too closely linked to warrant separation, this research begs to differ. By distinguishing between the two, we can better understand other dark personality types, such as narcissism and Machiavellianism. This could potentially aid clinicians and psychologists in identifying these traits in patients. The researchers also speculate on how these dark personality types might fit into the broader spectrum of personality traits. They suggest looking at the honesty-humility dimension of personality as a starting point. This dimension reflects individual differences in sincerity, fairness, greed avoidance, and modesty. Those high in honesty-humility tend to be honest, sincere, and modest, while those low in this dimension may be more self-serving and manipulative. So next time you think of a bad guy, remember that there's a spectrum of dark personalities out there, each with its unique traits and tendencies. Understanding these can help us navigate our social world with more awareness and caution. And remember, not all that glitters with dark humor is psychopathic.